Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Today we will discuss one question of cost sheet which is based on tender or order received by the manufacturer. ML Auto Limited is a manufacturer of auto parts, auto components. The details of its expenses for the year 2014 are given. Opening stock of raw material 1,50,000. It will be added to direct material consumed. Closing stock of raw material 2 lakhs. This will be deducted from direct material consumed. Purchase of material, it will be part of direct material. Direct labor, that is direct wages. Factory overheads. Administration overheads. These are the details given for the year 2014. During 2015, the company has received an order from a car manufacturer where it is estimated that cost of material and labor will be rupees 8 lakhs and rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand so for order received actual figures of direct material is given 8 lakhs and actual amount of direct labor is given 4 lakh 50 thousand ml auto limited charges factory overheads as a percentage of direct labor and administration over it as a percentage of factory cost based on previous year's cost cost of delivery of the components at customers premises is estimated at rupees 45,000 so this is selling over it you are required to calculate the overheads recovery rate based on actual cost for 2014 and prepare detailed cost statement for the order received in 2015 and price to be quoted if the company wants to make profit of 10% on sales. These are the information given in the question. Let us proceed to prepare a working note for current period. Opening stock of direct material is 1,50,000. Purchases of material is 18,50,000. Closing stock of raw material 2 lakhs. So direct material consumed will be rupees 18 lakhs. Direct labor 9 lakh 50 thousand. Direct material plus direct labor we got prime cost 27 lakh 50 thousand. Factory overheads they have given rupees three lakh eighty thousand. So box cost or factory cost. Rupees 31 lakh 30,000. To this, we are going to add administration overheads. Administration overheads are given 2 lakh 50,400.
so we got cost of production or cost of goods sold 33 lakh 80,400 now for order received next year we are required to consider overhead recovery rates factory overheads as a percentage of direct labor It will be factory overheads divided by direct labor multiplied by 100. Factory overheads we had 3,80,000 during last year. And direct labor was 9,50,000. So percentage of factory overheads to direct labor is 40% administration overheads as a percentage of factory cost. Previous year factory cost was 31,30,000. And administration overheads were 250,400. So percentage of administration overheads to factory cost comes to 8%. Let us proceed to prepare cost statement for the order received from the manufacturer of car. We have actual information of direct material estimated 8 lakhs. We have details of estimated direct labor 4,50,000. So we got prime cost 12,50,000. Now we are required to add factory overheads based on last year's details we have calculated last year recovery overheads factory overheads are based on direct labor 40 percent estimated direct labor is given 4 lakh 50 thousand we are required to take 40 percent of this as factory overheads Factory cost 14,30,000. To this we are required to add office and administration overheads. It is given percentage of administration overheads to factory cost. Previous year it was 8%. So estimated office and administration overheads will have to take 8% of factory cost 14,30,000. Administration overheads are 114400 which will be added to factory cost so that we got cost of production 144400 To this we are required to add selling overheads which are given in the question. Cost of delivery of components at customer's premises is estimated at rupees 45,000. We got total cost or cost of sales 15,89,400. To this we are required to add profit. So that we can get final amount of sales. Now in question they have given information of profit rate. Price to be quoted. If the company wants to earn profit 10% on sales. 10% on sales means 10 upon 100. 10 upon 100 means 
it will be 1 by 10, 1 tenth of sales. Now we are having information of total cost. To total cost, if we add profit, we get sales figure. Profit rate is given on sales 1 upon 10. So we are required to convert it on cost. So how to convert it? 1 by 10 is rate of profit on sale. This is the denominator 10. From this denominator 10, we have to deduct 1. So it will be 1 by 9. So 1 tenth on sales, that means 1 ninth on cost. Cost we, here we have 15,89,400. So sales we got 17,66,000. We can verify rate of profit. They have said rate of profit will be 10% on sales. Our sales is 17,66,000. If we take 10% of it, it will be 1,76,600. So rate of profit is correctly applied. In this question, we have learned how to prepare estimated cost statement based on percentage recovery of overheads thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you